pulled out of the driveway at 1.26 a.m. on January, well, technically, it is January 27th, 2018. It is 41 degrees here in North Carolina. And no, we have not been to bed yet, so we'll see how far we can uh, get down the road towards Florida before I need to pull over and uh, sleep a little bit. Put that must Okay, have entered South Carolina. It is 9:10 in the morning. It is 53 degrees. And we've recently gotten off uh, Interstate 26 and are now on Interstate 95. Do you have any words? Hi. You get a hi. Oh, a little update, I guess, would be nice. So I made it till basically right at 4 o'clock in the morning and could not drive any more just too tired so took no time was asleep as you see we have tons of blankets and pillows back there lakeland had already fell asleep slept into well i set my alarm for 7 a.m and hit it hit the snooze and yeah i actually did not leave the rest area until 7 40. so i'm a little i'm 40 minutes basically behind where I wanted to be at this point but oh well it's fast passes aren't till 5 30 so no big deal so Lakeland finally gets to see the new Georgia Welcome Center normally when we come through here it's not open yet and he's really going to uh, and actually it was mine and Tom's first uh, time in here our last trip so Lakeland's in for an eyeful it's definitely the uh, the best welcome center I've been in <laughs> goodness boy what you got up your nose <laughs> so remember the movie Forrest Gump no. We'll get you a picture with Forrest over there. You can go in there and take your picture. Oh, no. I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this painting real good. Come closer and watch it. Oh. Did you just notice that? Yeah. Did you notice the fly is moving? Keep watching it. Is she moving? Mm -hmm. Kind of like, a, and her eyes are moving. Keep watching. Kind of like a Harry Potter thing, huh? Nope, keep watching. Her eyes just moved. Mm, I know, but keep watching. I saw she looked like a skeleton-y. Oh, when did you see that? Did I miss that? Apparently. Oh, I must have missed it, but she went and turned into a skeleton. It's right when the fly lands on her nose, if I remember correctly. Yep. You didn't think that was like... Haunted mansion-y? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and the lighthouse light? Yeah, you want to go this way. You can actually push a button and the um, light will come on up there. Here you can watch all the little turtles going into the water after they hatch. Yeah, he's half asleep. This is cool. But yeah, this is definitely just the coolest welcome center. Lakeland just called Forest creepy. So Lakeland's saying that he really doesn't remember the movie. And so I keep telling him little phrases from the movie like, 
me and Jenny's like peas and carrots. My mama always said, stupid is as stupid does. I keep telling him I can talk like Forrest Gump. And then he gives me a look like that. <laughs> Isn't your mama... <laughs> it and your mama quite entertaining. And then you got to listen to Bubba Gump. No, Bubba Gump. <laughs> That's a restaurant. Um, Buford, I think. Isn't Bubba's name Bubba Buford? I feel like it is. It's but Bubba, he gonna have him a shrimping boat. And you gotta move your lips like this. Cause that's how old Bubba talks. And talks about shrimp a whole bunch. He gonna have a whole bunch of shrimp. You know what kind of shrimp there there is? There's shrimp kebab. So I wanna guess the restaurant. Shrimp skin. <laughs> Shrimp scampi. I forgot the rest of the sh shrimp Alfredo. I don't think that's what he says. And what else can I say about <laughs> Forrest? About Forrest Gump. Man, I did that real well, didn't I? Okay, y'all comment below on how well I talk like Forrest does. You love your mama, don't you? <laughs> And I must say that Tom Hanks played that part awesome. And the writers, I mean, everything from coming up with the smiley face, the mud smiley That's face, um, you know, the him getting sh shot in the buttocks and teaching... No, the Elvis learned his moves from Forrest Gump. They just put in a lot of history that was really relevant. They did really good. I like that movie. So we just got to Orlando and I'm watching this TV show and this is what they are talking about. Uh, I hate to do this to you again, but uh, we got a situation. Wait, what's wrong? Is Michael okay? He's fine, but is your stuff handy? Because it's time for an emergency trip to Disney World. Disney World? Why in God's name would I want to go to Disney World? Because it's a magical kingdom with lots of witnesses and great security. So if you could just get your bag and go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's so ironic. And what yeah. do you say? Because it's a magical place with great security and witnesses. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's funny. So I kept watching it. And this... You know they have a hotel up there where the giraffes, they come right up to your balcony. Well, as much as I love giraffes. <laughs> That's cool. The, what is it called? Animal Kingdom Lodge. Animal Kingdom Lodge. Okay guys, we've made a stop for getting to all the support. And that is the premium outlet to go to the character warehouse. Since it is a Saturday, I'm going to guess that inside this place is gonna be a madhouse. And that is exactly what it looks like, a madhouse. Are you kidding me? The bag that I got? Really? Can you believe that? Well, actually, you know what? No. 20% off current retail. That's what I get with my annual pass anyway. Yeah, $1.99, I wouldn't worry about if somebody stole it, huh? It doesn't matter. It's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, guys. So, the dress from the co-op is here for $39.99. Wow. Ooh, that is what I'm looking for. They have them, they have them. So here's the second thing that we already own. Look, so these are now at Character Warehouse um, for $9.99. And look what Lakeland's wearing that we paid full price for. But technically we bought it, we paid 20, because it was two for 40. Oh my gosh, I like the glasses. That's so tall. Okay, my little bit of advice, avoid Saturdays. <laughs> I'm guessing all the locals are here. Um, we just really didn't have a choice. It was the only opportunity and it made sense to come in um, before we checked in. So, but yeah, from now on, I would do my best to avoid Saturdays at the outlet mall. All right, another view of the little uh, 
crosswalk here, catwalk, whatever you want to call it, from the parking garage. My advice is park in the parking garage. Um, just like to note, we have a really huge bag back there. The special note is we haven't even stepped on Disney property yet, and we've already spent over a hundred dollars. <laughs> Got a case. He got a case. <laughs> it's not a good sign, people. Not a good sign at all. Traveling Spanky, I know you're sitting there nodding your head at me. Not a good sign. Hooray! We have arrived. Hooray! So this is Lakeland's first time staying at. Coronado. Ooh. So this wasn't here the last time I was here. I was last here um, August 10th or 11th, I think, is when we checked in. And yeah, they have done a lot. So, what do you think of the outside so far? Looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. That, that, that's a good sign from a 13 year old. Looks cool. I like this lobby. It smells like Disney. All right, you see guys, wasn't kidding. Big huge bag from Character Warehouse. Yeah, this is our luggage. <laughs> this much luggage for four nights. But this is like clothes and stuff, all food. computer stuff. There's a lot of stuff there's in there. Food in that one. Yeah, there's food. I figured we'd have a parking lot view. And guess what guys? We have a pool view. I don't know if that's good or bad noise wise. <laughs> all right, you want to do the honors? Do your magic band. Make sure it works. <laughs> All right. I need you to hold it. Okay, I'm going to hold it. And we're going to get... Oops, that's a ceiling fan. Okay. Let's see. Wait a minute. So, what do you think of this one? We don't have a time to do a room tour right now. So, we will do it when we get back this evening. <laughs> we gotta make our fast pass. This is great, our room is right down there. And there's the bus. So, wonderful room, wonderful. Now granted, we will be, first one's picked up, so we gotta go all the way around and go through the other stops. But we'll be the first one dropped off at night. So that's nice. A bus just went by. I hope it wasn't Magic Kingdom. We're trying hard to get there before 6.20 because um, Kara and Jeremy from the Magic Geekdom have fast passes for Space Mountain. Just 10 minutes difference from us. Ours is 5.30 to 6.30. Theirs is 6.20, no, 5.20 to 6.20. And we're trying to get there so we can ride together. We'll see if that happens. Okay, these little fuzzy things right here reminds me of something you'd see in like Seuss Landing. Wait. Like in a Seuss book. Oh, yeah. Like in Whoville. That's interesting. No, wait, no. The Lorax. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Every city, every place 